Hey, we're going to some rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for July 22nd, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. I want you guys to know, Virgos, that justice is going to end up prevailing for you. Justice is going to absolutely be in your favor. Ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, 12, 12. Ooh, 10, 10. <laughs> Aw, 4, 4, 4. Virgos, you got your bliss on a whole other fucking level. Everything is being aligned exactly how it's supposed to. One, two, three, four, Virgos. You are where you're at exactly at this precise moment. So wherever, whatever it is that you guys are doing at this exact moment, you are meant to be doing that at that moment. Everything is working in divine timing for you guys. So never discredit or think that the angels have forgotten about you or anything like that. They're saying, listen to the synchronicities. Listen to, pay attention, listen, listen, you know. Always listen, Virgos. Uh, at the end of the day... Let's get it. Coming in with the sun in reverse, the high priestess and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Virgos, you guys are absolutely standing in your power with the king of pentacles, ace of swords. You guys are so fucking victorious, Virgos. You guys are, you know, you guys hold something so much within you guys. A lot of people underestimated you guys at the same time. Um, you know, a lot, it's true, Virgos, but I don't think they realize that you're a fucking boss at the end of the day. You guys come off as somebody who's very, very young and playful, and maybe you guys don't, act, you act like you don't fucking know nothing, but in actuality, you're a big, big boss mundum or a big boss galdum, Virgos, and you guys speak your truth, you're, you come with a lot of integrity, and you got the world on your on your shoulders, world card Virgos, you know what I mean? So for that, it, it, it's simply saying that you guys hold something very precious within you guys that a lot of people are never going to be able to have, and it just, and it makes them very, very unhappy, the fact that you guys carry this, and no matter how big or how small it is to you, you'll always cherish that, that's the best thing about you guys Virgos, it's like you guys are very grateful for everything that you guys have in your mouth, in your life, so, mouth, whoa, what's in your mouth, Virgos, <laughs> so, it's like, I can have small, or I can have big, no matter what, I'll always be grateful, my might not always be the happiest, but I'm still genuinely happy, sun card, a page of pentacles, right, so, for that, you guys are always going to be blessed at the end of the day, because you guys are always showing gratitude, always being blessed, always being thankful for everything that you guys have in this life, Virgos, ace of swords, the world card, uh, the world is going to bring you guys the clarity, the victory that you guys are looking for, because of the fact that you guys are just so humble and even when the days that you guys feel like you have nothing at all you're still yeah you might not be the most happiest but at the end of the day you're still very much so grateful Virgos I do also see that there's going to be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that may have been a complete cycle that was ended at one point this person is considering to come back towards you guys Virgos this person literally goes through the text messages and and and, and looks back at the messages uh, I, apparently there's the one specific message that you guys had sent to this person and they are going to get their aha moment, which is going to end up making this person contact you. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo. This person's holding on to your to your belongings. Somebody here has some things that belong to you. They still carry that and hold that very dear to their heart, Virgos, uh, Page of Pentacles. All right? So this person is going to be reaching out to you in the month of August. So expect that to be coming in for you. For some of you guys, it may be exactly one week from today. And... For the next couple of you guys, it could be in the month of August. It, they are showing me August, and they're showing me one week from today. Um, yes, Virgos, all right? <sighs> they're also saying August 14th, August 15th, and also August 29th at the same time. So do expect those dates to be coming in for you guys, or this person's going to be reaching out to you. Also August 11th too, and August 19th for a few of you guys as well, Virgos, all right? Uh, regardless of this person is coming in with clarity and the truth, this person is ready to come in and communicate with you. They're good. They got this many. They got the king of pentacles. So they got all these pentacles in their, in their little treasure box, but they grabbed one Virgos, and they're going to take that one, and they're going to come in and, and, and contact you and let you know what's going on. This person does want to make an offer towards you guys, Virgos. They simply want to make an offer towards you guys with the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. They're ready to come towards you. This person's been thinking about you quite a bit. They've been reminiscing about you, and they know that you are the one that they want to make this offer towards you. This is somebody who who moves very slowly, but somebody who comes in with a lot of uh, who comes with a lot of integrity, a lot of humbleness, a lot of. Uh, who's very responsible, somebody who doesn't play around at all. This is somebody who really does take uh, time to invest in anything that they're working 
on. So it's like slow and steady wins the race. It's like, you know what? I'm going to take my time to invest in the Seven of Pentacles it's because I'm looking for the prize, Ace of Pentacles. You guys are technically the prize, Virgo. So when this person comes in to make this offer towards you guys, they're, they're looking for a a long haul with you like i mean proposal marriage this is what they're looking for right and they know that you are going to end up being their either the wife or their husband coming into the future but this is this is what they want they want they want to offer you a proposal um oh proposal of hand proposal of marriage so this person here is going to end up wanting to give that towards you guys virgos um at, at the same time Something had happened during Virgos during the full moon energy where you guys ended up getting where something ended up getting exposed here. Uh, moon card, eight of cups, four of wands, and the seven of swords. You guys had somebody that was very close to you guys that was sitting there talking a whole lot of shit on you with the seven of swords. Highly intuitive. You guys probably knew about it. Some of you guys may have even simply walked away from this connection or this person because whatever the things that was hidden to you were eventually illuminated to you. So you guys were ending up able to see everything for what it is. This person thought that they were going to be able to hide themselves forever with the seven of swords. That seven of swords was upright at one fucking point. But that seven of swords is in fucking reverse. They are since somebody here had said something and you guys caught on to that energy. Whatever that that person ended up saying to you, that was the that was that that was what it was. Why am I snapping again? Leave me alone. Why are you guys making me snap for? <laughs> All right, seven of swords. So this person really did end up exposing themselves when they were sitting there talking shit. Maybe this person was talking to you or saying something to you, but they ended up exposing themselves in some sort of way here. It could have been somebody that you thought was, you know, your relationship, friendship, whatever the case is, but they said something to you and they ended up expo exposing themselves. And you're like, oh, uh huh, that's what's going going on, eh? So with the moon card, eight of cups in reverse, you guys chose to walk away and you guys didn't feel bad about it either. Like a lot of you guys don't feel no fucking ways when you're walking away from somebody who's been addictive rude disrespectful jealous like you guys have no problem somebody who wants to be a hidden enemy towards you somebody who wants to act like they good to your face but they really not behind your fucking back somebody who really thought that they was going to get away from this they don't understand who the fuck you are some people want to always play this fucking high priestess for whatever the fuck what virgos and i don't think people really understand what a high priestess is and i'm gonna I'm say it i'm gonna say it every single time if you, just because you don't know what a high priestess is, what makes you think that you can run game on a high priestess? A high, 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 high pri uh, yo, a high priestess will fucking run game alongside with you too. The fuck you mean? They, they, they'll know when you're fucking lying. They'll be like, all right, bitch, I, I bet I fucking see you lying. I, I see you lying, but you know what? I'm gonna say nothing. I'm, I'm the high priestess. I'm gonna stay quiet about it because my intuition and I, and I be knowing everything, but I'm gonna let you run your game. Uh, what's that saying? I don't know. I play the fool of a fool for the one who fools me or some shit like that. I don't know, Virgo. Some bullshit like this, okay? So this is how you guys be running. You guys literally be moving around in life like this. It's like, yeah, you want to run game on me? You think I'm a fool? Well, you know what? <sighs> Whatever that fucking saying is, all right? It's gone all of a sudden. Uh, you guys had, you guys have somebody here who's also talking a lot of shit about you guys at the same time, Virgos. You guys already know who this person is. This person thinks that they're hidden, but you know what? You guys be seeing everything for exactly what it is. You guys have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, who is absolutely fucking jealous and evil on a whole other level. This is a very dark and evil person. Somebody who doesn't fucking care they'll hurt anybody just to fucking hurt people like this is what they do full time like this is what they do they go out of their way to simply work over fucking time to go out to freaking hurt people with uh with magic it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn this person's very very jealous and envious of you on a whole other level like they're super fucking evil I do believe that this person is projecting a lot of evil eye on you Virgos because of the fact that you guys are the high priestess you I don't even have to go there they're just simply fucking jealous of you because they they see something within you that they don't have and the the hate the hateful that the hatefulness that they have within their heart you'll never carry that within your heart anyway so that's exactly why they're hateful they're hateful because of the fact that they're not happy they're hateful because that this person's family is fucking being broken down with the ten of cups in reverse and they're pissed they're also pissed virgos because their family members are talking a whole lot of shit to them and making them feel really fucking unworthy 
This person is really cunning. They're very deceitful. Somebody you would never want on your team, especially with the magician in reverse to the queen of swords in reverse. They're very fucking mean Virgos. They're mean. They're evil. They're rude. They're disrespectful. They're cunning. They're they're such a coward too. Like this is the type of person that will be good to you and then run behind your back. Go work overtime, eight of pentacles, to fucking put some shit together and to literally bring pain into your life. But this person's really hateful because of the fact that you're such a free spirit. They they hate the fact that. How come, how come you can simply live your life and you have new beginnings and you don't have an issue taking a leap of faith? Virgin, if you have a problem with somebody who takes a fucking leap of faith in any direction that they go into because they, that's just the way that they choose to live their life, how are you jealous of something like that? Instead of being such an evil person, why don't you choose to go and live your life and, and do your thing instead of feel so focused on a specific person that bring pain into their life? And then you wonder why your family home when the Ten of Cups is fucking fucked up or why you're such an evil person, or why you're rude and disrespectful and cunning and everyone's going to find out who you are. Yeah, it's because the shit that you fucking do on a daily basis, I'm trying to cause pain onto other people. The fuck you mean? You guys are the full card. <laughs> you're fucking cute. What do you mean? You're like, da -di -da -di -la 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 -la. I'm a do, I'm a go on, I'm going to do my thing, you know, fool. This person is can't believe the fact, Virgos, that you guys are honestly a hierophant. They can't believe how much you're so connected to divination and that you're, you're very precious, Virgos. You're very precious. You're very important. And this person has to go out of their way to bring chaos and mean shit to someone's life here. They literally work overtime with the Eight of Pentacles. But, yo, you need to turn your back around on this, meaning don't fucking do it. I'm talking to the deceitful and rude and disrespectful one, the one that does the black magic. I'm talking to you specifically. If you're sitting there working overtime, this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. But I know two Virgos that it could also be a Virgo and a Gemini who's doing this too. They might also have Scorpio in their char chart. They might have... Leo, Sagittarius in the chart, they may have their fucking Virgo for sure, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is who they are, and they're always coming in as this type of, they come in as a queen of swords, why? Because that's the energy that they're in when they choose to do malice and evil work pun you, so even if somebody shows up as a queen of swords in your reading, and, and, that's because that's who the fuck they are. That's who they are. That's who. That's the energy that they work with when they want to hurt somebody. And this person's been working overtime, Eight of Pentacles, but they need to stop and they need to turn back because they're realizing now that all the shit that they're doing is actually affecting them and hurting them. They, it's not a good idea for them to be doing this type of work. Three of Pentacles, it's not going to work and they're going to be stuck with the hangman. Somebody here tried to make a sacrifice on you, but I want you to know, Virgos, the exact same shit that they've done onto you is the same fucking snake that's going to be hanging on to them and wrapping around them and they're going to end up at a huge fucking loss. This person here is just a hateful bitch and whatever because you're living your life and you're taking new leap of faith and... Five, five, five. They're saying five, five. You have no problem transitioning. You have no problem going through a transformation. You have no problem with change. That doesn't affect you. Change is not a fucking problem for a lot of you guys out here, Virgos. You're like, oop. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going to go this way today. Oop. Throop. <laughs> I guess we're going to go there. It's not a fucking problem for you. You guys can just pick up and, and do your own thing at any given time. Nothing's going to hold you back, Virgos. When you're this spiritually connected to divination, when you're this connected to the universe, you don't give a fuck. You go on and you do your own thing at the end of the day. Nothing, nobody, nothing's going to tell you nothing. If you want to, you want to take a leap, you're going, you're going for it. If you want to jump on a fucking plane one day and be like, you know what, today I'm going to book a flight and I'm going to go, you're gone. You're fucking gone. Nothing and nobody's going to be able to stop you and hold you back, Virgo. It's not going to happen. And this is why this person is so rude and they're such a hater. Um, regardless, though, they are going to end up... Somebody here is definitely in spiritual jail right now with the Nine of Swords in reverse. They are in spiritual jail because they keep doing bad, bad stuff behind you guys' back. They're, they've gone way to, they've gone out of their way to really bring a lot of pain into your life, Virgos. They did a lot more than they probably should have. Like, one after the other after the other. Like, this person really worked overtime to fuck you up. Uh, but they are in spiritual jail. They are receiving their vengeance and their wrath from God for the things that they have done. Four of swords. This person's going to end up in a mental fucking psych ward if they don't keep, if they keep their shit up. 
and they're going to end up being stuck. Knight of Wands in reverse, so the Temperance card. No matter how many times they make offers to the angels and the spirits and their deities, it doesn't look like they're going to end up coming through for them, Virgos. Uh, this person needs to learn to embrace themselves instead of being so focused on other people here as well. But that's they're so focused on you right now that because you guys have something very special within you and this person lacks that within themselves. So somebody here is going to end up, honestly, could potentially end up being in a psych ward or going to have to get some sort of therapy with the Four of Swords. <sighs> Something's going to end up happening to someone's vehicle as well. And there's something that's out of tires, okay? You got to get your car. Why am I helping you for? The fuck? Get out of my face. Like, what am I helping you for? Whatever the fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. It's your fucking own prerogative. It's your problem. All right? So someone's going to end up in a fucking psych ward with the four of swords to the chariot card to the knight of wands. They're not going to be able to get out of the situation at all. If someone ends up getting submitted to the psych ward, I don't believe that they're going to be able to get the help that they need and I also don't think that they're going to be able to get out of there as fast as they think that they got submitted so if you thought that you can submit yourself in there and get out after two weeks I don't see that happening I see you being in there for quite a for quite some time because whatever that's going to be happening inside you're going to be acting pretty fucking wild always protect yourselves and take care of yourself see I'm still helping you guys why am I helping why am I help? why am I why why all right <sighs> So someone here is definitely in spiritual jail with the four of swords to the nine of swords in reverse. I also see Virgos that someone here might end up, the police might end up also coming to somebody and arresting them and they're not going to be able to get out of this position at all. Um, I do believe that a lot of shit that is going to end up backfiring on this person, not because of whatever, you know, but because the wrath of God is here. You can't get past God. And when you go out of your way to do crazy shit like this, you're, it's going to be, God will, God, God will put you exactly where he needs to put, to put you so that way you can stop fucking harming and hurting people. And in the end, you'll end up being stuck. You're not going to be able to move forward and your life will be absolutely stagnated and you need to stop doing what you're doing because it's, it's fucking ridiculous. And if you think that that's fun, that it's okay for you to be working overtime to hurt people in this type of way, man, I think there's something really wrong with you at the end of the day. Normal people don't go around hurting people. Healthy-minded people don't go around hurting people for no reason. But something is wrong with you. You're the queen of swords in reverse. Why? What happened to you? Who hurt you for you to go around and start hurting other people? Jail. You need help. All right? You guys got huge fucking blessings coming towards you guys, Virgos. Big blessings coming towards you guys. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Judgment card, ooh, Virgos, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So you guys got prosperity, abundance, tranquility, uh, the divine, and the angels are balanced everything out for you guys. They're bringing the prosperity for you with the Six of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. This is big This is big news, Virgos, for you guys. This is blessings, pun blessings, pun blessings that are going to be coming for you guys with the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So this is new opportunities that you're going to be so fucking passionate about. The cycle of the cycle is going to be coming in for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune. They're talking about a reset something about a reset virgos maybe at the end of the july or something I, you know, I keep picking up the numbers 29 everything is coming in as a 29 number 9 10 11 so that comes up to the number 11 but still there's going to be a universal reset meaning maybe you guys are officially done with the karmic cycles that you have to deal with and you guys can officially go towards your new beginnings prosperity and judgment is coming in and saying you we see all your hard work we've seen everything that these this, these people have done to you so we're going to bless you with an abundant amount of love tranquility abundance happiness success the universe the spirits judgment you've done an incredible and remarkable job on passing all your fucking tests oh absolutely virgos you've done an amazing job passing all the tests that these people have brought into your life you didn't go out of your way to fucking hurt people for no reason that's just not in your that's not in your heart space you would never go out of your way to do something like that but let them you let them fucking do you one you let them hurt you like this and you did what you needed to do but you didn't go out of your way to actually be like today I wake up and I choose violence. <laughs> nah, Virgo, you're not you're not finna do that shit. You're not the queen of swords in reverse. You're better than that. You're better than that. Why are you better than that? Because you know how to control your fucking you you know how to control your mental health. You know how to control this shit around you. This person fucking doesn't. They're crazy on a whole other level. They do need mental help. 
psych ward, jail time, spiritual jail. They're on a fucking timeout. Four of Swords, you're on a timeout. Uh, Ace of Cups, Judgment card. That will is going to be coming towards you guys, Virgos. That belongs to you guys. Six of Pentacles, prosperity, abundance, tranquility, happiness. Spirit is saying you have passed all of the all of the tests that we have brought into your life. Being you, being the high priestess, you guys have got had to go through a lot of initiation, more so on a spiritual level. It wasn't meant to fucking destroy you or hurt you. It was to teach you spiritually what the spiritual realm really is. And if you're if you're capable and mentally prepared and strong enough to handle it then yo, the world is yours. That's exactly what they said. They said the world is yours, Virgos. You guys got so much prosperity. Holy shit. Congratulations, my loves. You guys also got this person fucking sitting there watching you with the page of wands, ten of wands. They're going to end up at a huge fucking loss. Huge loss. Uh, this person is going to end up with a lot of obstacles, problems. <sighs> Five of Pentacles. Somebody's kid here is not feeling well right now as well and that's because of all the spell work that they've done with the star card so they got how fucked up they are that that's actually hurting and affecting their their family um or their children for that matter especially if they got a kid a boy here uh with the page of one energy also virgos uh, you guys got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who might be feeling that they're very much so burned at the moment and they feel really left out by you too because you guys might, this person sitting here watching you get the abundance and tranquility and prosperity and they're seeing how many trials that you actually have to go through. I don't think people really understand how much shit you actually have to go through, Virgos, to be where you're at today. People are just sitting there watching you receive your abundance, your prosperity, and, and but they don't realize that these were all tests and trials for you guys. Yes. On a spiritual fucking level, how did you handle your situation when you was going through all your fucking shit? What did you do? Right? It is what it is, Virgos. These people are going to end up at a huge fucking loss. Star card, a huge loss. A huge loss. Five of Pentacles, star card, huge loss. Ten of Wands, nothing but burden, stress, homelessness, shelters, problems, loss, abandonment. Especially if they ended up meeting an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person probably fucking left them with the Five of Pentacles and abandoned them with the star card there. It's crazy energy. That's all because of justice. That's karma coming in, Virgos. Uh, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's very sad and confused at the moment here with the Seven of Cups, Five of Cups too. The whoever this person is, Virgos, they're going to be very much so fucking regretful for what they've done, uh, for, the, them, for whatever the fuck they've done behind your back. Because while you're ending up prospering in front of their eyes, right? In front of their eyes, you're prospering. In front of their eyes, you got judgment on your side. In front of their eyes, you're receiving money, tranquility, happiness. Your destiny's here, prosperity, felicity, the ace of cups, love, everything that you ever wanted. Nothing and nobody. It doesn't matter how much time you work over time. Believe me when I say, it doesn't matter how hard you work to fuck somebody up. You're not going to be able to. In fact, you're going to end up hurting yourself. Why? Because you're going up against the divine. You're going up against the angels. You're going up against somebody who's very much so spiritually important in the spiritual realm. And when you work at a very hateful and dark place like this, why do you think that you're going to prosper for? If you don't wish well for somebody, why should you receive well for you in return? It's very straight. Life is very easy. People make life very fucking difficult because they're jealous and they're hateful because they have problems for themselves. Just because you got problems in your own life, it doesn't mean go hurt somebody else. It means go get fucking mental help. So that way you can stop being the way that you are. The fuck? That's somebody who doesn't want to do the inner work. They just assume that the universe is going to provide and it's just going to be like, yeah, the universe will provide. But if you're ungrateful and you wish people ill, no, the universe will not provide. The universe does not work on that frequency. Now, they're going to end up really sad and depressed. I wouldn't trust this person anyway, Virgos. <laughs> like, you know, they're sad, but why are they sad? Because they got caught. It's Queen of Cups in reverse to the Seven of Cups. Also, Virgos, you guys may end up actually being really, really upset here too. Why? Because there's going to be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's going to be reaching out to you, and this person's going to be wanting to come toward you, offering you love, happiness. A new cycle is going to be coming in for you guys at the same time, where it's going to be genuine and, and brand new love for you too. And a lot of you guys may be really, really sad, especially if this is somebody from your past who did not give you everything that you needed back then, but all of a sudden they're coming back now. It's going to just make you guys 
guys feel really, really sad and confused a little bit because a lot of you guys were still holding on to this person, but because you were holding on to this person and they were taking forever, you guys just simply focus on yourselves. And so when this person comes back towards you guys, a lot of you guys may actually start crying and feeling really, really, in, uh, feeling really, really sad. There could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who is now healing from the pain that they had to go through. <sighs> they may not be talking about the pain, but they are getting back in their strength energy there. So they're getting back into their energy, taking back their power. They're feeling much more better. This is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh, this person is fi finally healing from the sadness and betrayal. Uh, maybe this person has somebody here who was being really bad on to them with the Five of Swords, somebody who's very selfish and manipulative. But, you know, I do believe that this person's going to end up becoming very much so obsessed with you. With the Devil card, Two of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles, this person's going to be so obsessed with you, Virgos. Yeah, they're going to be really obsessed with you. If you got teeth problems, Virgos, make sure that you guys are going to the dentist as well. Like, get your teeth checked, it's saying. That's what it's saying. Um, also, Virgos, this person here is going to do everything they can to fight for you. They don't care who the fuck's in their way. They're not. That's not going to stop them from getting to you. Not because they're obsessed with you with the devil card, but th because they see something within you that you guys can bring the Ten of Pentacles, so they're going to do everything and anything that they can to simply have you. You are their Ten of Pentacles. You are everything and more to them. This is a divine connection. Also, Virgos, I'm picking up on a Gemini as well who may end up becoming obsessed with you after the fact that you let them go with the five of four of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Justice card. <laughs> justice will always prevail, Virgos, no matter what. Scales are being balanced out for you guys as we speak right now as we speak and they're going to give you guys everything the happiness that you've out that you've always wanted make sure you release the past and and move it away from you and, and move on with your life yeah justice is saying karma is pretty much letting you know hey i am karma i am gaia and i'm going to let you know now that i'm going to make sure that i give you we give you everything that you're looking for and everything that you need we've seen all your hardships make sure you release the past and move forward because we're going to catch you no matter what. You got the biggest angels, divine, the biggest birds who are coming in to bring in the ships that you rightfully deserve. These people are walking into karma while you have your big ships coming in. And their karma is going to be that they're going to have no choice but to simply watch you with the page of wands of the wheel. They're going to watch the tables turn. And the tables that are coming for you is going to be filled with uh, flowers, fruits, abundance, prosperity, and they're not welcome to sit at your table. That's why they're on the sideline watching you. Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. All right, Three of Wands, Virgos. You guys got so much more. You guys are going to be standing in your power with the Queen of Wands, and you're taking life for exactly what it is. You got that wand in your energy, Virgos. You're happy. You're doing your thing. And you guys are trying to get your balance back again as well, right? But the past might be literally holding you back. But you guys are looking at the Nine of Cups like, you know what? I'm going to fight for this Nine of Cups because this is I have to go through all this shit to be where I'm at today. The fuck you mean? So you're looking at the past like, I can't believe I have to go through all that shit just to be where I'm at today. I can't believe it took me all that shit to be where it is that I... You know, but you guys are enjoying the journey. It's always about the journey, Virgos, not the ending. So enjoy the journey to your success because that's exactly where you guys are going to end up being. There's going to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who could potentially end up going through a lot of obstacles. Your enemies cannot swim, Virgo. So if your enemies try and come towards you at, at a position like this, they got another fucking thing coming for them. You're too fucking advanced. You're looking at the Six of Cups like, yo... At Six of Cups, I'm having, this is what I have to go through with the Six of Cups, okay? You're already abundant, no matter what. You've always been abundant, Virgos. But with the Six of Cups, you're like, holy shit, this is what I have to go through? Now that you're going to be in the Nine of Cups, you're like, yo, this is what it feels like to be in the Nine of Cups. I'm going to defend it and protect it at all costs, Seven of Wands. And if anybody tries to come at me, Seven of Wands, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will handle them don't come not they're saying don't come knocking on my door if I didn't invite you over that's exactly what they're saying do not come knocking on my door if I didn't invite you over so if anybody tries to come knocking on your door when you don't talk to them or you don't fuck with them or you don't whatever the fuck what with them they have no right 
to come towards you because they're saying you're in my house now. That's what they're saying. You want to come knocking on my door? I'll open the door for you, bitch. But then when I when I open that door and I close it, you're in my house now. So whatever happens in my house, you're going to get it. Seven of Wands. That's exactly what they're trying to say. And you and they will end up fucking getting it because they should never have came towards you in the first place. But since they did and you opened the door for them, you're in my house now, bitch. The fuck you mean? You want to play those games? You're in my house now. Whatever happens from here on out, you brought that towards you, seven of wands, all right? And then they're going to end up all the way fucked up with the eight of swords energy. And you're sitting in your power like, yeah, bitch, can I help you? <laughs> and they're going to end up in a huge fucking tower, huge fucking tower. And they're going to have to sit there and watch you fucking be abundant, successful, prosperous, and a whole other level. This person is good. They're always in competition with you. Why? Why are they always in competition for with you? You're not worried about them. You're like, yo, the tower doesn't fucking phase me. It's a, I've been in the fucking tower a million fucking times. How's, I'll overcome, I'll jump over the fucking tower. You guys are always in tower moments, Virgos, and you guys are always bouncing back out of all this shit that you guys I'm not laughing at your tower moments. I'm laughing at the fact that, yo, that nothing is going to fucking phase you guys anymore. You're like, yo, I'm the nine of pentacles. I am successful. I am a star. I am the limelight. I am victorious. Six of wands. I am good. I am protected. I am the whole nine. And I don't have time to be dealing with fucking petty shit like this. People who are in competition. People who are fucking stressed out. Fucking always victim mentality themselves. Like, oh, they want, they want people to sit there and feel sorry for them after they, those are the ones that did this shit to you and they can't handle the fact that you're still prospering that you're still manifesting that you're still doing your thing then nothing and nobody's gonna be able to destroy that for you virgos it's not gonna happen no matter how many times they try and take that away from you destroy you it will never happen not in this life not in the next one not in the next. they keep talking about royalty virgos you guys got royalty in, in in you and for that you guys are always gonna be like this and people are always gonna hate on you and being competitive in competition with you but that is none of your fucking concern because when royalty when you're royalty you don't have time to be putting yourselves in a position to fuck with low vibrational people. I just heard cockroaches, peasants, like these are what these people are to you. Not because that's how you look down at people, but but that's because that's how they that's how they that's how they made themselves to be. Because when you are wanting to be around somebody who's so successful, you want to level up and be around successful people and have the same mindset. But the moment someone goes against you, the moment that someone wants to be competing with you, yeah, they categorize themselves as a fucking peasant. Because people who walk with integrity are always going to want to wish you well, wish you success, wish you happiness and love, because they're vibing at a high frequency. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got big energy coming towards you guys, Virgo Six of Wands. You're in your power. You're bosses. You're, you're, you're everything and more. You're sexy as hell, Virgos. You got this beautiful energy on you guys with the King of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles as well. You're in your power. You've worked really fucking hard to be worried as that you guys are at today. Nothing and nobody's going to ever fucking be able to stop you. These people are going to just sit there and fucking watch you all the time. All the time. And the Spirit's putting an end to their shit. They're like, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. The fuck you mean? Get out of here. You guys could also have an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, who might be really stressed out at the moment, Virgos. They might be feeling it right now because they feel like they may have lost you at the same time, but you're on your way to success. A lot of you guys may have been feeling like, why is things taking forever? Nah, Virgos, don't even worry about it. Just it's fucking, it just trust the process. You see me? Trust the process. Trust God that everything's going to work out for you because in the end, it will work out for you with the Six of Wands energy. These people are sitting here watching you. Man, they even got people on their side watching them like, yo, are you really in competition beefing with people for no fucking reason? Uh, there could also be a fight that's going to be coming in that could potentially put somebody in jail. And the, and if that is a you that Virgos, if you guys are going to be ending up in a fight with somebody, it's saying that the police is going to be around the area. So if you are going to be fighting, you will end up being taken in and, and going. they just said custody. Somebody will end up going into custody. So if you're going to be having some sort of fight, oh, well, they said bar fight. If somebody's going to end up getting into some sort of fight and the boy dem are around or whatever, they're saying here that somebody will end up going into custody for it. So please be careful. Also, uh, Virgos, you guys got somebody here who is sitting and watching you. This could be an entrepreneur. This person likes the way that you are or they like the way that you are so bright and you're shining and they see that, you're, that you could potentially have a lot of success around you with the Six of Wands. 
This is somebody who is literally just sitting there watching you, Virgo. They're seeing you be successful. They love your energy with the Nine of Pentacles. And it would be bringing an ending and a new beginning towards you with the Death card. A huge transformation is coming for you guys. You are very much so uh, deserving of this, uh, sweethearts. They're right, Hermit card. You guys have been in Hermit for such a long time. The reading's going on for too fucking long. So many shit going on, Virgos. <laughs> hermit card, Six of Swords, Two of Swords energy. All right, so you guys have been in Hermit for a very long time, okay? <sighs> There's uh, Some of you guys also don't know what the future is going to be holding for you guys coming in between now and the next two weeks and the next six weeks as well. It's just letting you guys know, Virgo. So by the time September comes for you guys, you guys are going to be wanting to make a move to kind of like just settle down, hermit yourselves, but a lot of you guys are kind of afraid of the unknown. It's saying don't be afraid of the unknown because no matter what, everything's going to be working out for you guys. And it's going to be picking up a lot more faster for you guys. So you guys will have people who are going to love you and support you who will also fight for you at the same time. Uh, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There could be a Virgo, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who wants to reach out to you after the fact that they may have broken your heart. But they're now feeling the heartbreak at this point, Virgos, because they maybe this person left you, ghosted you. And they realized that the decision that they had made on you was not the right decision that they did and now they're ready to come back in with communication uh, between now and the next two weeks six weeks and also the next eight days as well sweethearts uh, uh, maybe during the new moon this person will be contacting you as well if you guys end up seeing a bunch of birds virgos like a lot of fucking birds a lot of birds uh, they're saying that just a couple hours either before or after you guys will be receiving this message from this person so let's just say you see a couple, like a bunch of birds, and then within like 30 minutes, a text message comes in from this person apologizing to you. Like, hey, I'm so sorry for what I did. I should never done it. <laughs> but, you know, no matter how much time these people heartbreak you and break your heart and hurt you, Virgos, you're always going to be that empress. You're always going to be in your power. Like, you may have even manifested this person to come back. But at the end of the day, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person's coming in. They see you. They're taking action. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're ready to make an offer towards you. This person is not going to let you go that easily, even if after whatever had happened in the past. They're seeing you now. They're ready to make that offer. They're coming in quickly. Somebody here could be having two offers coming towards them, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if they see that someone else is coming in to make an offer for you guys, it will literally be off with their head. They're not going to let them have you. They're going to simply have you because this is who they want you they don't want nobody else to get you before they get you so that's what's going to end up happening otherwise <laughs> that's one and then another one is there's going to be a gemini libra aquarius who's taking action to come back for you guys virgos this person wants to communicate and they're not going to let you go that easily this person's ready to make an offer towards you so some of you guys might be getting asked out on a date and i do believe sweethearts that you guys will end up, will end up in fact going on a date as well thanks cuties bye